Hello and uh, welcome to KO Chaos, a game that is free on Steam, just released uh, yesterday. Um, it's the developers Alexander Herbert and Luca Young. It is a 2D action, kind of 2D fighter. Check it out, see how things go. WASD, attack with the keys and shift. Okay, seems pretty, pretty self-explanatory. About two characters. Everything else is coming soon. Uh, I'm gonna go with Henward. He seems like a pretty cool dude. And I guess we'll find. Yeah, we'll find this guy. All right, I've taken like all the damage, and I have died. Interesting. All right, a different person. Jeez. Okay, well, this is this is where I would probably typically become like incredibly um, this is where I'd probably become incredibly um, critical of a game um, which is something I've been trying to work on uh, because I know that I'm at times, far too critical because uh, it's hard to give like feedback that's appropriate, um, you know, that explains why you don't like something or why you do like something, and um, you know, still be a, a level of positivity. Um, At least we found an enemy that I think I can kill. You do have a stamina system, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm happy to have a stamina system. I will say that the combat is kind of difficult, um, and it's definitely, it reminds me of like, if this was a Souls-like game um, in 2D, uh, that's kind of what this feels like it is. Um, it feels almost completely impossible to do anything here because, um, you know, enemies seem to take so much damage, um, or give you so much damage. Like, I, I'm barely causing anything to these guys. Although, I think... Oh, God. I thought I was going to kill him. I was going to be very proud of myself. Um, yeah, this is going to be a short video, because there's not really much reason for me to keep playing if I can't do it. Ow. All right, so... Yeah, this one is... Um, this one's going to be a, uh, not really for me. I'm not going to. Let's just talk about the positives, shall we? I think the artwork is good. Like, graphically, the game looks pretty nice. Um, it seems like maybe the way to do this is try to wait till their stamina is gone. Um, but obviously, that didn't work for me. really hard to find a spot that I can be to where I'm not going to take damage. Um, so anyway, like I said, the positives, the game looks good. I like, I mean, it's, you know, pretty simple graphics overall, but the animations are there and they seem pretty decent. Um, the sound effects are, are nice enough, but I will say that, um, I find the difficulty absurd. Um, it's it's one or two hits and, and you're dead. Um, and then you can't move at all because of the lack of stamina, which that part I can understand. But because you have such a difficult time in avoiding any of the attacks, it's it just feels overly punishing. Um, and the amount of damage you do compared to the amount of damage they do is laughably small. Um... So it's almost like I can never really, I need everything and everything to go, go right. And obviously it's, and it's not. So this is more of a frustrating experience than an entertaining experience. Like I will say that this is one that, um, I think there's like certain levels of difficulty that makes sense. And I think this game is far too difficult, um, to really give you a playable experience because 
I don't know. To me, there's no fun in, in playing a game where you're trying to fight things and you can't even do anything because they're constantly killing you. Um, but you know what? Some people might really like this kind of extreme difficulty. So, hey, if that's you, have a good time. It seems to be functional and it works. Um, so, yeah, the link's in the description if you want to try it. It is free. And, uh, yeah, have a nice day.